everyone, this is Steve Toth from seonotebook.com where I email out my weekly strategy notes every Tuesday. So if you want more stuff like this, just go to seonotebook.com and subscribe. So today I'm going to show you how to get the bolded keywords from the SERP. So why do you want to get bolded words from the SERP? Well, these bolded words are the, I, the um, synonyms that Google identifies for us and they're extremely valuable to use in your content especially after something like a heading that you may want to optimize a featured snippet for, or you may just want to write that heading. So use these bold keywords in uh, those different passages on your content, and uh, you should do really well. So let's get to it, and I'll show you how to do everything. First of all, a big thanks to uh, Pablo Rosales from SEO Secret Lab and SEO Extractor. Pablo created the JavaScript to, um, uh, to pull the bold keywords from the SERP. Um, and yeah, we have, we have him to thank for that, so thank you. Um, and what you're going to do is just go to this link um, in the note, and you're going to open up that page, and you're going to copy um, the JavaScript from the first one that says Google All Bold JS. This will also grab the bolded keywords in the featured snippet, whereas the other one does not. So now that I have that, I'm going to just drag something to my bookmarks bar, and I'm going to edit. Now I've already done this, so I'm not going to save this one, but I'm going to just show you. I would paste this and then rename this. And um, I've already got that here. So now you're going to head over to the SERP. You're going to put in your keyword. So in my case, my keyword is how long does it take to learn how to code? And one thing I recommend is going up to search settings and setting your search results to 100 so that you get lots of bold keywords. So now that you're on here, you can just click that bookmarklet and it's going to um, uh, bring up all the bolded keywords in this little modal here. So now I'm going to copy these and I'm going to head over to the sheet that you would find in, um, in the note here, the cool bold sheet. Now I've made a copy and um, put the query in cell A1. Now I'm going to paste in the bold keywords from the SERP. So column C does uh, something interesting where it takes the synonym strings that are bolded that are not contained in the original query. So you can see something like accept is not contained, um, would is not contained. Um, you know, all these words here are the strings are not contained. And um, then it's going to break them down into individual words. And now it's going to check this list of individual words to see if they actually appear in the query. So basically, we're going to avoid redundant words. We're going to um, uh, come up with really interesting stuff. So like, for example, um, code, right? We, we now have um, JavaScript, HTML, um, Python, right? That's really interesting stuff. Google considers those synonyms for code. So if we're talking about how long it takes to learn how to code, we're going to want to use those um, keywords in our content, right? So you can use this in a number of ways. Um, it's helpful for optimizing for featured snippets. And it's also helpful if you take each one of your headings here in your content and do this exercise, uh, because basically you will um, now have um, a bunch of synonyms um, that, that are suggested for your content, right? So um, that's pretty much it for today. It's a really, really powerful thing. Um, I've actually held back this sheet for over a year um, in my proposals for my clients. It's usually something I say, um, this is a process not shared on SEO Notebook, but I guess, you know, everything has to come to an end. And uh, I was feeling generous, so I thought I would share this with everybody. Um, I hope it's uh, useful and helpful to you. And uh, yeah, that's it. And good luck. And um, let me know what you think in the comments. All right. Take care, guys. Bye.